Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the C-Man, and I want to welcome you to another edition of the C-Man's Cinema Sit-Down. It is February 14th, which is a day for some people about love. So to all you lovers out there, and of course to the love of my life and her wonderful girls, happy Valentine's Day. However, in 2021... 214 is a big old day for us DC nerds because we have been waiting for this for a while. And when you got someone like Zack Snyder who just loves to give you tidbits and teases of a trailer, oh, you just get so excited. So let's not waste any time. I'm Pope Chair. Take a seat. We are getting ready to take a look at the official trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League, which comes to HBO Max in just a short weeks man we're getting so close uh and it's so exciting we're about a month out um from this dropping on hbo max and everybody getting to finally see Zack snyder's vision in full and that's the thing that's so crazy and awesome about this whole thing it's like we're reacting to a movie that technically we've seen before the justice league which, you know, basically just erased most of what people thought Zack Snyder was trying to do or would take gorgeous shots that Zack Snyder had and mess with them. Um, you know, we've all seen it. And the, the main plot line beats are going to be the same for at least a portion of this movie. This certainly feels like Zack is, you know, fulfilling what his original idea was of these two Justice League movies that would be this one big thing. Now he gets four hours, and he's obviously gone back and had reshoots. He's brought in people like Jared Leto, um, you know, and he's changed things because he can do everything that he wants to do. But, like I said, those main plot beats. Superman coming back. Justice League fighting uh, Steppenwolf. You know, all that stuff's still going to be in here. Yet, we're all just, like, giddy because it's going to be through the prism of what Zack Snyder wanted us to see. And from what we've seen so far... Oh, it's so much more awesome than what we got with Joss Whedon's mess and the freaking uncanny valley of Superman. So, it's such an interesting conversation and such an interesting situation. But obviously, us Zack Snyder fans are so glad that he's going to get to do it. And now we get to look at the official trailer. And like I said, Zack is a guy who loves to tease things. And one of the big teases I can't wait to see in here. Is Jared Leto's Joker. From what I've heard, he is going to show up briefly in this trailer, but we will hear him speak, which, oh, there's so many things going through my head with what's going on with that character. If you've read that uh, uh, article from, I believe it was uh, Variety or Vanity Fair. I think it was Variety. I could be wrong. But uh, I don't want to spoil that stuff if you don't know about it. Um, just like he's going to show up, and I, I can't wait. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get the trailer on. Up oh, there it is. Alrighty, baby. Let's see what we are getting with the official trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Oh, there's soups. Oh, he's got the hole in him. No, that's, no, that's okay. That's, yeah, that's, that's right at the end of uh, Bat Batman vs. Superman. Bell's been wrong. That's uh. Oh, that was Lex Luthor. But in the dark, among the stars, the god is dead. It reminded us that this is where we start, man. Superman's I had a death. Dream. Almost like a premonition. Oh, I never got to hear you say that. I think there's an attack coming. <laughs> this one will fall. I need Dude. warriors. <laughs> I'm building an alliance to defend ourselves. I haven't seen that shot. I know your team strong enough. If you can't bring down the charging bull, then don't wave the red cape at it. You were sent here for a reason. And even if it takes you the rest of your life, find out what that reason is. Oh, I'm getting chills, man. This score is so good. They said the age of heroes will never come again. We live 
in a society where honor is a distant memory. Isn't that right? Batman. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, oh, oh! It's so good. It's so good. The like the major things in this one for me. Uh, Alfred talking to Bat. Well, first, Batman revealing clearly to either Alfred or or to maybe the, the League members that he had that nightmare dream, and we're going to get to see a lot more of that nightmare dream as we see with the Joker's appearance. That is part of the nightmare dream, from what I understand. Um, and the, the, the vest that he's wearing is going to be loaded up with badges of police. Um, but that is part of Bruce's, like, nightmare dream. So in that post-apocalyptic place, like, if Darkseid accomplishes what Darkseid wants to accomplish, that is where we are headed, and that's what the Joker could look like. Um, and from what we also understand is we're going to see, there's going to be a lot more to this nightmare sequence i think because we've seen images um of some of the other characters uh, or at least of deadshot from that like apocalyptic style um so like that is fascinating to me in and of itself but the big thing for me was that conversation with alfred where we hear jeremy irons tell him mr batfleck like if you don't think you can stop the charging bull like don't wave the red flag like the red cape at it you know what i mean like Basically, it seems like he, he knows something's coming before Darkseid. They're going to have to go stop it. And, you know, it's like, don't 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 tease him with, with the cape. Like, if you don't think that you're going to be able to stop this at all. Um, so that's an interesting conversation. Like, I really want to hear more um, of what that full conversation is. But, like, that just got me excited. Because, like, it, it sets up in, like, there is the bull that comes before your big bad you know if you can't stop uh steppenwolf what do you what what's what you think you're gonna be able to stop the bigger bad or the apocalypse that's coming um so like the the idea that like even in that conversation they're talking about the fact that like steppenwolf is not the big bad he's just the first um and that was you know the, the the big thing that was missing in the original justice league that we got back in what was it 2017 like this is the thing that was missing, right? Like, that there was more to come. And I can't wait to see, oh, the whole thing that, like, realized. And, and oh, there's just, like, it's just, oh, it's, so exciting, it's so exciting. that the Like, that shot of freaking Darkseid, where, you know, when they're talking about, like, if you think you're going to stop the bull, uh, you know, if you or you're going to stop the big bad if you can't stop the bull. And it's like, you see, for... <laughs> like dark side's court and you got the sod with him back there he just oh he looks so freaking cool and then like seeing like steppenwolf like kneel down like i'll go get this done but like without his helmet on right like he looks just like bone and stone almost so like that is just all those metal th- it's all armor and it's all gonna move oh it's so good i cannot wait uh, for Zack Snyder's Justice League to hit HBO Max, man, uh, it's still—I don't don't think it said the day. Uh, yeah, streaming March 18th, man. Just a month and four days from now, we will finally, finally get to see what Zack Snyder's Justice League is all about. And also, from what I understand, it is going to be a four-hour movie. Uh, there, there, there were talks out about it being like four one-hour episodes, so you could stretch it out for four weeks, which would have been cool. But let, let's face it. We've been waiting freaking four years plus for this bad boy. Give me all four hours right up front. And I tell you, I definitely don't think that Zach is tipping his hand to the third act of this movie. And what, like, what the, oh, like, we got those two additional hours and we've seen bits and pieces of what might be in there. But I don't think he's really tipped his hand as to what the final battle is. I don't think the Steppenwolf fight is going to be the last fight. I mean, if you had the ability to do reshoots... And, and and get more money you think you would change the ending and give us that you know this could be the one shot that we ever get to see the justice league face off against dark side it's the only thing that we really haven't seen in any of these trailers is will they face off against dark side himself um you know we obviously know some of those shots that we've seen i think of dark side have been 
from from the past, and then obviously in the court that that's brand new. That's right before he sends Steppenwolf. So, oh, dude, it looks so badass. I can't freaking wait for this movie. Uh, and I'm just so happy for Zack Snyder. But those are all my thoughts about the official trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Now I want to know what you're thinking, man. Uh, what what jumped out to you in this trailer? Like I said, that that conversation with Alfred certainly seems to be hinting at like. There's two coming, and I hope we certainly get that Dark Side Justice League showdown. Um, so, so is that something that popped for you? Uh, that shot of freaking Superman in the black outfit shooting those laser eyes? Oh, like what is he shooting the laser eyes at? What is he destroying? Is it good Superman? Is it bad Superman? I don't know. I don't know, but it looks freaking badass. And that's the other thing too. Like we talked about that back when you know this was all starting to come around, and he first revealed. Uh, the black suit, like, that was shot with red and blue, but in a way where you could tone it out and turn, oh, God, it look, and it looks, like, it looks like it was built to be the, the black suit. Um, but yeah, anything, man, did that pop for you? Did uh, the Joker at the end pop for you? What do you think of this nightmare vision? Are we going to see, like, a prolonged look at that? Is it going to become reality? Um, anything you're thinking about the official trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League, down below in the comments section, as always, if you enjoyed this video <laughs> please give me a thumbs up this trailer is breaking my brain as a speed um, and if you haven't yet you want to come show a little love support for the old c-man in the cinema sit down you want to be here uh with me as we get ready for march 18th and Zack snyder's justice league and you haven't yet i urge you come join that c-maniac nation baby you can be here for all the c-man goodies if you jump over there hit that subscribe button hit that little bell if you like those alerts and until next time for the c-man cinema sit down i'm in the c-man I'm signing off. Peace. Oh, dark side and Joker. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Just, oh, just hearing Jared Leto say Batman to Ben Affleck. Oh, God, it's so good. Well, I'll be. You guys are still here. You must be looking for some more content. Well, don't worry. C-Man's got you covered, man. You got videos like this guy and this guy. And if you haven't yet and you want to come check out all the C-Man goodies, Join the Cinema Sit Down Squad, man. Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell down below that, too, so you can get alerts every time I make new videos.